I just kind of wanted to uh, kick things off, kind of go through what the plan of the day is. So the ceremony will be kicking off here in just a second. We'll do the actual groundbreaking here behind us. Uh, after that, we have some gifts, uh, commemorative gifts to hand out. We'll have a ceremonial tree planting, which the tree's actually already planted. We'll just be putting uh, the plaque in the ground. Then after that, we'll have lunch. And everyone that's here is welcome to stay for lunch if you can. If not, I understand, but uh, I just wanted to extend that uh, uh, to everyone here. So as far as the dignitaries today, what I call the shovel holders, we have Mr. Michael Schwab, uh, Natera President and CEO, uh, Yutaka Taniguchi, Executive Vice President of Natera, myself, of course, the Honorable Jim Justice, Governor of West Virginia, Mitch Carmichael, Secretary of the West Virginia Department of Economic Development, Nicole Christian, the Charleston Area Alliance President, Steve Webb, WEDA uh, Associate Director, and Mike Graney, Executive Director of the Department of Economic Development. So I'd like to welcome the Governor of West Virginia, the Honorable Jim Justice, the Natera Executive Team, as well as other guests and dignitaries to the Natera Aftermarket Warehouse groundbreaking event. It gives me enormous pleasure to be here today for this ceremony. What started out is just an idea from a few of us in my office. This event has been quite a while in the making. It's consumed a great deal of time for folks here on the West Virginia campus. Uh, just to note a few, Greg Reed in accounting, he was extremely uh, instrumental in this. Sean McKinney uh, from facilities, he's now heading up the project. Um, Bart Huey from the supply chain group and many others uh, really worked together to make this happen. I cannot say how, say how appreciative I am uh, for the efforts of everyone involved and how proud I am of the team here for making it happen. Because of the efforts of everyone in the Terra and the faith that the Terra Japan has in our employees and most notably the warehouse team, the investment committee was willing to make this large commitment to the future of this campus. So just a little history. In 2020, the Chicago Aftermarket Warehouse needed help as they were busting at the seams. So we began transferring the Canadian aftermarket business down here to West Virginia. And that happened in May of 2020. We had five weeks to make it happen. And on June 18th of 2020, we made our first shipment. Through the hard work and dedication of the following people, we were able to prove that we could effectively manage the aftermarket business as we have the OEM business for many years. So Ann Nelson, James Ramos, Josh Ranson, Harlan Norvell, Teddy Moffitt, Mark Moss, Tara Spurlock, Jay Farrell, Carl Glover, Jason Hazelwood, and Rich Holmes. Thank you so much for your effort. I would also like to say a special thank you to a business partner of Natera, Ms. Ellen Maxwell Hoffman, partner at Bowles Rice. She's been instrumental in helping Natera work with the Economic Development Office and receive approval for this project, so your help is greatly appreciated. I also want to say thank you to Steve Spence and Holly Hubbard. They have helped me coordinate this event with the various local governmental offices and to make sure everything was managed effectively. So finally, I'd like to say thank you to Jackie Donahue and Tracy Neal for their efforts and putting this event together today. To say that they were key in the success of today's historic moment would be a profound understatement. So at this time, I would like to turn it over to Mike Schwab, President and CEO of Terra North America. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful day in West Virginia. Great day for our event today. Uh, today marks a truly momentous occasion as we gather here to celebrate the groundbreaking of a project that will leave an indelible mark on our future. This day is a turning point and a symbol of progress that will pave the way for future economic growth for both the Terra, North America, and the great state of West Virginia. And so it's with great honor and excitement that I stand before you to share in this moment. This event extends far beyond the physical act of breaking ground 
It signifies the strength of a vision, the culmination of many hours of planning, collaboration, and a strong determination. It represents the power of collective action, truly. Today we lay the foundation for a project that will not only strengthen our company and our community, but also ignite a spark of ins inspiration in the hearts and minds of all those who see it take shape. This event signifies our commitment to progress and our unwavering dedication to creating a better tomorrow for generations to come. As we break ground, we are also breaking through and challenging the status quo. It is a testament to our capacity to change and to transform. In this era of rapid change and technological advancement, it is essential that we embrace the opportunities that are presented to us. Today, we embrace the future with open arms and embrace the potential of this project to bring about positive change. It will create jobs, foster economic growth, and provide another platform for innovation and collaboration. But let us not forget the importance of unity and community. We must remember that our greatest achievements are realized when we come together as one. Let this project be a beacon of unity, reminding us that we are stronger together than uh, we are apart. So in closing, I want to express my deepest gratitude to all of those who, has, who have contributed to making this groundbreaking a reality. Thank you to the Governor's Office and to the West Virginia Economic Development Authority. Without your support and without your guidance, this would have been impossible. To the Dreamers, the Architects, the Engineers, our long-term partners, and especially one of our most trusted partners, again, Ellen Maxwell Hoffman, thank you very much. To our Associates and the many community members who continue to support us, I thank you. This is a testament to the power and the resilience of the Viterra spirit. Today we break ground, but tomorrow we break barriers. Together, let us forge a path to a brighter future guided by initiative, innovation, unity, and perseverance, and the unwavering belief that we have the power to shape our destiny. Thank you all very much. And next, I would like to invite the governor of the great state of West Virginia, the Honorable Mr. Jim Justice, to the podium for a few words. Governor. Well, while I'm sitting here, I've got to just tell you just this. I look at all of you. I look at your eyes, and I look at absolutely the commitment you have to doing great work for this incredible company. Today is another testament to how hard you've pulled the rope and how many, many good things are beginning to happen as the world awakens to West Virginia. West Virginia, all of you have known forever just how good we really are, how much we have to offer, whether it be all the different things that we have right at our fingertips or all the imagination of what West Virginia can be as we go forward. I look at you. I look in your eyes. I know how good you really, truly are. I know absolutely that you're the very fiber that makes us go. And for all of these great folks here and this incredible company, just think. Just think, who could have ever thunk it? Absolutely, who could have ever thunk it? And I say that in slang to just think, who would have ever in the world believed we'd be here today? And if you may say, oh, I would have, you know, I would say you'd be in the vast min minority. But here we are. Here we are. At a, at, at a turning point in this great state, and absolutely, we owe so much to so many. I'd like to sit here and say, oh yeah, I did, I did, I did, or our economic development department, I did, they did, they did, or Natera and all the different unbelievable stuff that they're doing, but really, it's all of us. It's all of us. It's all of us pulling the rope together. 500 employees, 70 temporary employees going to expand again and again and again? I mean, absolutely. That tree, that tree symbolizes us. It symbolizes this great company and these great people and all that they do. 
I'm really, really, really proud to be here and to be with you. And I know really at the end of the day, because I get word from the mountain that says, the Niterra people want you to bring baby dogs. And, and I know good and well that really and truly you're halfway tickled that I'm here. But naturally, I've got baby dog, and so let her out, Rob. <laughs> Come on, baby. Then I tell you, come on around here, baby. Come on up here. Sit down. Okay, now you're happy, right? <laughs> nevertheless, thank you so much for having me. And, and let me tell you this real quick. How did Baby Dog come into being? Does anybody think, oh, Justice came up with an incredible idea about this bulldog and he keeps the bulldog with him and blah, 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 blah. Really, that's crazy. At the end of the day, you know, all of a sudden at Christmas Eve, you know, my son and daughter just reached this little bulldog puppy, 10 weeks old, over my shoulder, and I thought, uh-oh because we got two Boston Terriers that sleep in bed with us every night, and this thing's going to grow into something big. She's Because this thing is going to grow into my size. She's going to end up a 60-pound brown watermelon. I know what's going to happen. And you're 62, aren't you, baby? But, but with all that being said, the thing that every last one of us was touched one way or another was in COVID every single last one of us and many of you lost loved ones that will never be able to replace it was one tough go and the thing that it was unbelievable is tough with me too and so as i would go from time to time i'd take her with me our little two-year-old two-year-old grandson at christmas eve would walk around and honest to goodness he would say Where'd that baby dog go? You know, he meant the puppy, but he was calling her baby dog. Where did that baby dog go? So we named her baby dog. And with all that being said, as she goes, she does absolutely this. To God above, it's a fact. She makes you smile. And you know what else she does? She loves every single one of you. Every one of you. A bulldog's not supposed to do that. <laughs> But she loves everybody. It doesn't matter if it's kids or adults or rich or poor or black or white or, God forbid, I've said it to 10,000 times, Republican or Democrats. <laughs> but she loves everybody. So with that being said, you know, what message could be more simple? What message could really be more simple? If all of us made other people smile and all of us loved all of us, what in the world is there to it beyond that? So with that being said, I thank you guys more than you'll ever know. Absolutely, from the bottom of my heart, West Virginians are one thing that absolutely you can put in the bank, and that are we are appreciative people. And we will never forget what you're doing for us. And it is really, really with great honor that I thank you. So thank you so much for having us. Thank all of you for all you did. At this time, if I could have all of the shovel holders come up.